Shall we begin? Bob Kern is the unsung photographer. We're on our way to New York City to the Javits Center and uh, we're going to go see Photo Plus Expo. So this should be a lot of fun. Uh, the wonder of New York. There it is, boys and girls. The mighty Javits Center. We head on into Photo Plus Expo. All right, so here we are at Photo Expo 2016. Just going for the experience of brand new Nikon bags. Thank you very, very much. You Nikon bag, anybody? So we are at the Nikon booth picking up our annual swag. Uh, going to see what they have to show us. Uh, have a quick look around. If you look behind me over my shoulder here, you'll see a bunch of folks having a look at the new lenses. They have the mounted on cameras and a little round rob away there so everybody can have a quick look. Uh, it's all pretty impressive. Uh, we're going to take a walk over and we're going to go see Sigma and see what they have. They have a couple of new things that are very interesting. Beautiful lenses, by the way. And uh, we're going to thank Nikon for doing some cool stuff. They're really pushing their uh, 360 degree cameras, uh, their sport cameras. I don't know that they've got a, a lot that's new. I would have liked to have seen a, a D810 replacement, uh, but I haven't seen anything like that. So uh, we'll, we'll see what they're uh, going to push for the year. Here we are, Key Mission 110. Uh, that's their sports camera for the year. Uh, I'm not really interested in another sports camera. I, GoPro's going down the drain. And, why, why do I want another sports camera? I have no clue. That was a little sample of what they're selling at the Sony booth. Nothing fascinating. Camera basics. Wow, Tamron is packed. With Nikon releasing a $3,000 70 to 200. No wonder Tamron's packed. I bet you we'll find the same thing over at Sigma because uh, people aren't going to spend three thousand dollars for 70 to 200. They're out of their minds. This happened that we were able to shoot under the gasoline canopy where the gas pumps were. It just created that really nice, beautiful light. So the news from Olympus is simple. No O M D M1 Mark II. It's still mystery wear. They promise it's great. Pentax booth. Lindsay Adler. Pro Photo. And still no tether. Javits gets to everybody after a while. It's a long day. So how much is a roto light? This, this is the single uh, color temperature and over pro. It yeah. retails for $14.98. We were show, I how much? $14.98. $1,400? Yeah. $1,500 actually. $1,500? And it's $1,600 for and the And it's bi single color. This is the single color and the bi color is $100. Why is it $1,500 for an it's LED light? Because if you look at the light panel equivalent, it's about $800 more than that. <laughs> we'll just walk around here a little bit. We've done Olympus. Nissan Imaging. Fuji, we've got Instax. That's interesting. I don't know how much this is catching on. I like the... Uh, the bigger ones. I really like these two and a half inch ones are hot for the kids. Collection? I have no idea who this is. It's gotten a little bit out of control. We 
has so an actual I'm presentation. Still collecting these boarding passes, my wife is saying. Actual paper books. <laughs> Soon to be extinct, I'm sure, at some point. Unfortunate, but true. There we go. The stuff I lust after and can never afford. Ah, the X1D. Okay, so I'm still in the afterglow of handling Hasselblad's X1D. Oh my god, what a camera. Unbelievable. 3200 ISO here uh, in the light that's available at the show. And let me tell you, what an awesome piece of gear. I want one for Christmas. However, it's about $12,050 just to walk in with a basic camera and the normal lens. Okay, absolutely best pizza in the world at Rocky's. I'm telling you, absolutely awesome. Long day, long ride home. It was an eh year, nothing spectacular, but we had some fun and hope to see you guys there next year. Shall we begin?